Let's learn how to master basic Spanish greetings. In the first part of this video, I'm going to teach you the most common and useful Spanish greetings you need to know to master your first conversation with a native speaker. Then, you'll watch a fun story that demonstrates all the concepts that you've just learned. And finally, you'll watch the story again with English subtitles to check your comprehension. Let's get started! So, basic Spanish greetings. This includes how to say hello and goodbye, how to ask how someone is doing, how to show politeness, so on and so forth. So, let's start at the beginning, with actual greetings. As you know, a greeting is a way to start a conversation, so it's imperative to master greetings when traveling to a Spanish-speaking country. Here are the most common greetings in Spanish. Hola, hello, buenas, hi, buenos días, good morning, buenas tardes, good afternoon, buenas noches, good evening, bienvenido, welcome. Each of these greetings have different nuances and uses, so let's take a more in-depth look at them. Let's start with hola. Hola is the most basic greeting in the Spanish language. It means hi or hello, and can be used in both formal and informal settings at any hour of the day. So, you could say hola, ¿qué tal estás?, meaning hello, how are you?, at any point of the day. You typically answer hola with hola. It's that simple. A more informal alternative to hola is buenas. Buenas also means hello, but it's closer in formality to hi. An example would be buenas, Ana, meaning hi, Ana. Just like with hola, you can use buenas at any time of the day. And a common way to answer buenas is with buenas or hola. For example, hola, Pepe, buenas, Jose, meaning hello, Pepe, hi, Jose. Next up, we have buenos días, meaning good morning. This greeting is different from the two previous ones because it is time-specific. Buenos días is a greeting reserved for the morning, typically exchanged after waking up or upon seeing someone for the first time that day. A common way to answer buenos días is with another buenos días. For example, buenos días, mamá, buenos días, cariño, meaning good morning, mom. Good morning, honey. Now, the time considered the morning varies from country to country, but in Spain, it's generally considered the morning until lunchtime, so around 2 in the afternoon. Other countries stop using buenos dias afternoon. Speaking of afternoon, next up we have buenas tardes, meaning good afternoon. This greeting is, of course, also time-specific, being reserved for the afternoon or evening. Buenas tardes is usually answered with buenas tardes. For example, hola, buenas tardes, meaning hello, good afternoon. Now, the dilemma of when to use buenas tardes. A good rule of thumb is to use buenas tardes between lunchtime and dinner time, or from 2 to 8 in the afternoon. Next up, we have buenas noches, meaning good night or good evening. For example, when you go into a place in the evening, you could say hola, buenas noches, meaning hello, good night. And while people use buenas noches as a greeting at night, it's most common to see it used as a way of farewell. But we'll talk about farewells in a minute. Our last greeting is bienvenido, meaning welcome. This greeting is not time-specific, but it does have to agree in both gender and number with the subject. This means that bienvenido is in its masculine singular form, while the feminine singular form is bienvenida, and the plural forms are bienvenidos and bienvenidas. So, you could say bienvenidos todos a mi casa, meaning welcome everyone to my house, or bienvenida a España, meaning welcome to Spain when referring to someone who is female. Bienvenido is typically used when welcoming someone into a place or organization. A common answer to this greeting would be muchas gracias or thank you very much. For example, bienvenida, muchas gracias means welcome, thank you very much. Now that we've seen how to greet or say hello to people, let's move on to farewells or how to say goodbye. Here are the most common ways to say farewell in Spanish. Adios, goodbye. Chao, bye. Hasta luego, see you later. Hasta pronto, see you soon. 
Hasta mañana. See you tomorrow. Nos vemos. See ya. Buenas noches. Good night. Que tengas un buen día. Have a good day. Que te vaya bien. Good luck. Cuídate. Take care. Let's start with the most basic farewell, adiós, meaning goodbye. An example would be, adiós, te veo mañana, which means goodbye, I'll see you tomorrow. You typically answer adiós with adiós, but you can also answer with hasta luego, see you later, or buenas noches, good night, depending on the time of day, of course. Then we have chao, meaning bye. Ciao is a very informal expression borrowed from the Italian ciao. For example, ciao, me voy, means bye, I'm leaving. Ciao can also be used at any point in the day, just like hola and adios. Ciao is typically answered with ciao or other ways of saying farewell, such as adios or hasta luego. Hasta luego means see you later. Fun fact, the use of hasta luego is as common as the use of adios. So you might say hasta luego to someone working in a shop or a restaurant despite not intending on ever seeing them again. For example, muchas gracias, hasta luego, means thank you very much, see you later. A similar expression is hasta pronto, meaning see you soon. Hasta pronto is also not time specific. However, unlike hasta luego, It's typically expected that you will be seeing someone soon if you do say hasta pronto. For example, chao, hasta pronto, means bye, see you soon. You could also answer with hasta mañana or see you tomorrow if you intend on seeing each other the following day. Hasta mañana is the greeting you want to use if you actually intend to commit to seeing someone the day after talking to them. For example, hablamos más luego. Hasta mañana means we'll talk more later, see you tomorrow. Nos vemos means see ya. It's an informal way of saying hasta luego. And while you wouldn't say nos vemos to someone you don't know, like someone working at a restaurant, there's little commitment to actually seeing someone when you use the phrase nos vemos. For example, ha estado bien, nos vemos means it's been good, see ya. Our last farewell phrase is buenas noches or good night. As opposed to the other time-specific farewells, buenas noches can be used both as a way of saying hello and saying goodbye. You can answer buenas noches with buenas noches. Or if you want to spice things up, you can say hasta mañana, meaning see you tomorrow. Buenas noches is a common way of saying goodbye at night but it's more common to use it at home as a way of saying you're going to sleep. For example, buenas noches, me voy a dormir, which means good night, I'm going to sleep. Que tengas un buen día means have a good day. It's a more formal expression you might hear from a shop employee. For example, gracias por comprar aquí, que tengas un buen día. Thanks for shopping here, have a good day. You might also hear this phrase being spoken by a parent leaving their kids at school. Ya estamos, que tengas un buen día, meaning we're here, have a good day. Que te vaya bien is a way of saying good luck. For example, que te vaya bien en la entrevista means good luck with the interview. A good way to answer que te vaya bien is with muchas gracias or thank you very much. Our last farewell is cuídate, meaning take care. For example, nos vemos el viernes, cuídate mientras tanto, means see ya on Friday, take care in the meantime. A normal way of answering cuídate is by saying gracias, thanks, or lo haré, I will. For example, if someone says muy bien, cuídate, meaning all right, take care, you can answer with lo haré, no te preocupes which means I will, don't worry. What comes after greetings and farewells? Asking if the other person is doing well. Let's see the most common ways to ask someone how they are. ¿Qué tal? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? ¿Cómo te va? How's it going? ¿Qué pasa? What's up? Let's start with ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? means how are you? 
it's a bit more informal, so it's mostly used either in informal settings or with people you already know. It can be asked by itself, ¿qué tal? Or it can be followed by the verb estar, to be. For example, ¿qué tal estás hoy? means, how are you doing today? There are many ways to answer this question, so stay tuned to find out what those are in the next segment. Then we also have ¿Cómo estás? meaning how are you? Unlike with ¿Qué tal? which can be used by itself, there is no way of using ¿Cómo estás? to mean how are you without using the verb estar. For example, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? means good morning, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? is more formal than ¿Qué tal? and it can be made even more formal by using the form usted. For example, ¿Cómo está? Bien, which means how are you? Good? Another way of asking someone how they are is ¿Cómo te va? Meaning how's it going? This expression is a bit more on the informal side. For example, ¿Cómo te va en el trabajo? Means how's it going at work? Our final way to ask how someone's doing is saying ¿Qué pasa? Meaning what's up? Once again, this is a bit more informal and it can be used as a full sentence by itself, for example, Hola, ¿qué pasa? Hi, what's up? Or it can be used as part of a longer question, ¿qué pasa con esos dos? What's up with those two? Now that we've seen the questions, let's check out how to answer them. Here are the most basic responses. Estoy bien. I'm fine. Estoy estupendo. I am great. Así, así. So, so. Estoy mal. I am unwell. Estoy fatal. I am terrible. Estoy un poco cansado. I am a little tired. Estoy enfermo. I am sick. These are all short answers to the question ¿Qué tal estás? or ¿Cómo estás? But after answering, it's good manners to ask the other person how they are doing. So let's check out how to do just that. To make a follow-up question, you either say ¿Y tú? or ¿Y usted? Both of these questions mean the same thing in English, and you. However, the tú is more informal, while usted is used in formal situations. So a conversation might go like this. Hola, Juan. Buenos días. Hi, Juan. Good morning. Buenas, Pepe. ¿Qué tal estás? Hi, Pepe. How are you? Estoy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? I'm good, thanks. And you? También estoy bien. Hasta luego. I'm good too. See you later. Nos vemos. See ya. Let's quickly look at introductions, like asking someone's name and introducing ourselves. Let's check out some of the most common phrases. ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? Me llamo. My name is. Soy. I'm. Let's start with the question, ¿Cómo te llamas? Meaning, what's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? literally translates to, what are you called? And it's the most basic and common way to ask for someone's name. For example, no nos conocemos. ¿Cómo te llamas? means, we don't know each other. What's your name? There are two ways to answer this question. The first and longer option is, me llamo, and then insert your name. Me llamo means my name is. For example, ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo me llamo Pepe. Means, what's your name? My name is Pepe. The other way of answering ¿Cómo te llamas? is by saying soy, which means I am. So you'd say soy and then your name. For example, yo soy María. ¿Y tú? Notice that while in Spanish we don't typically include the subject in a sentence, introductions are an exception. So you'd say, yo soy Ana, I am Ana, or tú eres Pepe, you are Pepe. These phrases would also work without the subject, but it's more common to include them in introductions. It's also important to master courtesy words. What are these? They're words that show politeness and respect that come up in all everyday conversations. Let's take a look. Gracias. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. De nada. You're welcome. Perdone. Excuse me. Lo siento. I'm sorry. 
Now, let's watch this fun story to see basic Spanish greetings in action. Make sure you watch until the very end to find out what happens. Hola, buenos días. ¿Cómo está? Buenos días. Bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Bien, gracias. Me llamo Ana. Yo me llamo Luis. Bienvenida. Hola, Luis. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, Ana. ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias. Este mercado es interesante. Sí, es muy interesante. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Es bonito. Sí, es muy bonito. Buenas noches, Luis. Adiós. Buenas noches, Ana. Mire. If you like this video, you love the upcoming beginner-friendly Fluent You course. It's going to have more engaging stories with helpful teacher explanations. It will be organized in a way that's more effective for learning and is perfect for beginners. It will contain exclusive content and also integrate clips from movie scenes, TV shows, and more. You'll also get personalized quizzes and speaking questions to make it all stick. To try Fluent You right now for free, click the link in the description below and start your free two-week trial. Fluent You is also currently having a sale, so now is a perfect time to check it out. In addition to this new course, FluentU app also has thousands of authentic videos, including movie scenes, clips from TV shows, TED Talks, and music videos, all of which have interactive subtitles. Each word has a context-specific definition with examples written by language experts, so you never waste time with definitions that are too general or inaccurate, as well as video examples of native speakers using the vocab. Buenas noches, Luis. Adiós. Buenas noches, Ana. Mire. ¡Qué gracioso! Sí, es gracioso. Adiós, Luis. Chao, Ana. Now, watch the video again with English subtitles and see how much you understood. Hola, buenos días. ¿Cómo está? Buenos días. Bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Bien, gracias. Me llamo Ana. Yo me llamo Luis. Bienvenida. Hola, Luis. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, Ana. ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias. Este mercado es interesante. Sí, es muy interesante. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Es bonito. Sí, es muy bonito. Buenas noches, Luis. Adiós. Buenas noches, Ana. Mire. ¡Qué gracioso! Sí, es gracioso. Adiós, Luis. Chao, Ana. In this next video, you'll learn all about Spanish question words with another fun story. Check it out. <laughs> 